Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez and I am <clears throat> doing another quick and easy card using the Abstract Impression Stamp Set, um, which I think is really gorgeous. I love that you can build your flowers um, in different layers so you can add some depth, but you, it doesn't have to look perfect, which I think that's the part that I love the most. <clears throat> Let me just show you some samples of cards that I've been doing with this stamp set so you'll see. Um, you can see this one. I mean, like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. Here's another one using the same. This is with the um, the butterfly as well as the sentiment. I think I like that one. And then this is something kind of like what we're going to be doing today a little bit, right? So, <clears throat> like I said, you can be building flowers as you go. And they don't have to be perfect yet. They all look beautifully. So, the colors that I have here. Let me just put this one on the side for a second. Is... Um, this is one of the newest colors, and this one is called Gorgeous Grape, which I am in love. I'm so excited that Stampin' Up! has new uh, colors in the purple family, because that's my favorite color, and I didn't like the ones that we used to have. And then this one is Highland Hitter. Now, this one is five and a half, eight and a half. This one is, um, I believe it's two and a half. Let me just see. Um, actually, it's two and three quarters by three quarters of an inch. <clears throat> and then I have a piece that is um, three and a quarter by four and a half. And then this one is three by four and one quarter. So, um, as usual, um, whenever I'm doing the matting, um, I always leave a quarter of an inch difference between both of the cards. That way I can have a really nice frame around it. Um, okay, so let's just do this stamping for right now. Put, I'm going to pull this one here. Okay. And because this set is photopolymer, and I know I've said this a gazillion of times, but I always like to use uh, foam mat. So I use the, um, the piercing mat from Stamping Up. Um, but if you have some other foam mat, you can use this, of course. I just feel like that's the one that I use. <laughs> um, now, I'm gonna be using the Highland Header, which is the lighter shade of the, oh, the lighter shade of the um, purple. And I'm gonna go ahead and then probably do another one here. And then one more here. Then I'm going to go back with the Gorgeous Grape, which is a darker of them. And I am, if you see this, I am lining up this little, you can see this one, with this one. That's how, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I figure like that's, those are the ones that need to be lined up. And here it is. And like I said, I love, love, love these new colors that we have. Uh, since I have that one already open, let's just do also the sentiment. I want the sentiment. It, this one says, if flowers were hugs, I, I'd send you a thousand, which I think it's just great for a friend. Don't you think? So I'm just going to go ahead and put it like so. And there we go. And for this one, well, I always like to do a little banner at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and do the little banner already. Okay. Let's bring this one back. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be using... I want to add lemon lime for, you know what, for this, let me just see, do I want, yeah, I think I will like that one. All right, and then what I want to do too is add some leaves to this.
And I'm going to add one more here. And one more here. And then using the um, Granny Apple Green, I'm going to go ahead and add like a little shade. You see that? And I love how easy and quick this goes and how not perfect it looks, yet I just love the look of it every single time. I've been doing a lot of cards with this set and I'm just liking it, you know? And so for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and put it like so. And I will be adding this one here. Actually, ooh, let's just see. No, I think I do like it like so. Probably like so. Yeah, like so. All right, so let's just go ahead and glue this. We're gonna go ahead and glue it here. Then I'm going to be folding this in half. Um, as usual, I use my bone folder every single time. Because I love how nice um, border it leaves. Or not border, but how nice the, the fold looks. And then I'm going to be adding this one here. And we're going to be doing this one. Yes. I think I'm going to put it like so. Yes, like so. So I'll add dimensionals to these. this right and then we're gonna be adding this one <clears throat> with dimensionals as well so let's just add three of them and you can see this is really quick and easy um, which is something that I love 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 about this stamp set that you can do really quick easy cards here. And you know what? I feel like it adds it adds something. So I'm just gonna do one of those double bows that I've been doing lately. And so we're just gonna do a little I think it's not enough. Actually it's too long here. Okay. There we go. And voila. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. And here it is. And I feel like it needs to be. Actually, I'm going to be putting it here. Yes, there. All right, so here it is. So this is the car for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Um, like I said, um, <clears throat> I am loving it that it doesn't look perfect. Every single time you use it, you're gonna have a different look. And um, so anyway, so if you like the video, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, uh, don't forget about my ordering incentive where um, when you place an order online using the host code, and the host code is on my website at www.creatingwithally.com, um, and I'll put a link to the blog on my on the description of this video as well as all the supplies that I use. But anyway, when you place an order with me, you get a card kit in the mail where you get four cards um, to make um, to make four cards, and you'll get everything: embellishment, everything that I use, paper, everything except the stamping. Now, if you don't have the stamp that I'm using, you can always substitute with whatever you have. 
And um, also, if your order is $50 or more, you also get the card kit, but you, in addition, you get also an accessory of the month, which could be rhinestones, a ribbon, um, a pack of trinkets. I mean, every single month will be different. So anyway, hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, do leave me a, a comment here. And anyway, I'll see you soon. Thank you.